Zero FXB, we're going to get my G5 RV onto this Nano VNA and we're going to measure it along a, a wide bounded area. So first things first, let's calibrate it. So let's get the uh, get it into calibrate mode. So we'll tap the screen, hit calibrate, we'll reset everything, reset button there, and we'll hit calibrate. And we'll get the open on there. So let's find the little o open connector, which looks like this. It has like an O in the middle. There's no point in the middle. So put that on. Tap open. And you see a blue line go across the top. So it's done that. Take it off. Now we want the one with the point in the middle, but with no insula no white insulator. We've got that. That's called the short. So we'll put that on there, like so, and then we'll tap short. You get a little tick each time. Okay, so now we're going to do the load, and the load looks like this. See if you can see it in the light there. It's got a white insulator and a point as well. Put that on there. That's your load. There you go. That's the load. We don't really need to do the next ones really, so we're just gonna tap the next, ignore the through, and we'll go done. And we'll right, we should have saved that. Let's do it again and save it a minute. Okay, that time we saved it on zero. Now we want to set our, our frequencies, so we'll go with tap, go back, go to stimulus and we're going to go start and we're going to start off at uh, 1 megahertz and then we're going to finish, going to stop at 30 megahertz. There you go, we've done that. Now we need to get it on SWR, so tap the screen. Tap the screen, and then we're going to go to, have a look here, go back, go to display, trace, we don't want the blue one, so we'll get rid of that, we want the SWR, which is the <laughs> first one, so trace is selected, and it already says SWR, so let's go back. And if it didn't, you go format and then look, select SWR here, and then we'll go back. And then we do want the scale to show. So we'll go, let's go back, scale. See these little ticks? Tick these. And then you get these numbers. And we set it at, at one, you know, SWR one, two, three is what we're really interested in. You can set that just by tapping like that and hitting scale. And I've done one, but you could do 0.25 or something. Anyway, so there we are. Now let's collect the antenna, the G5 RV, and let's just see what we get. So here we are. I haven't learned how to set markers yet. But as you, you can see here, that there's your SWR. I mean, obviously up here, we're not happy with, but you do need a bit of help with the G5 RV. You do need, um, the help of an antenna tuner but although it's meant to be resonant on certain bands as you know it does include does use the feeder the twin feeder as part of the antenna it's complicated um but anyway let's have a quick look so if we look here one megahertz oh it says that maybe i've gone a bit too high there should we change the range from one megahertz let's just go try and check out um yeah, 3 megs and 7 megs and 14. So let's go 1 to 15 megahertz. So we'll reset that. So we'll go start. Like so. So like that. Go back. We're going to go back. We're looking for stimulus. Stimulus. Start. And we're going to go, say, 3 megahertz. And we're going to go click that again. Stop at, say... Say 15 megahertz, yeah, for now. Then you'll get more of an idea of where we are in the scale. What would be nice to read what we're seeing here. So, wouldn't it? We can't really tell. What, where are we there? When we're here, what megahertz are we? 
and here. So that's what I'd like to know is, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spacings there. So it's about, is it two, four, six, eight? So I'm guessing that um, this curve here is around 80 meters. Now, is this 40 meters here or 20? 15's here, so I would say 20 megs is about here. Where's seven megahertz? Is it here? So if someone let me know what I'm seeing. I know I can move this and that. Ah, there you are, that's, that's how you do it. Like I said, I'm learning this, I'm new to this. So look, so seven megs, we've got the megahertz showing here. So around the seven megahertz, we have got a dip. And let's go here, 14 megahertz. Yeah, so we're still just over three. I'm still finding it interesting. And then the other one would be 80, 80, which is gonna be about here. So we're sort of three to point three to so our SWR is higher than we'd like, but within the, the realms of my antenna tuner being able to do it. So that's I've learned something new there where I could move that. And apparently I can move the wheel as well. There's a wheel up here. So you know, send me messages, help me out on this. But I'm still finding it interesting. That's some um, some uh, data on my G5 RV. Thanks very much. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. I definitely recommend getting one of these analyzers. Um, I'm really making me look at my antennas with interest and not just the antennas, but the feeders and the connectors. I've already repaired some of my connectors because I've connected an antenna earlier and the SWR was was completely out of range and I thought why is that check the antenna connector and it had actually come away from the center solder on the PL259 so I think it's uh, an invaluable tool to have and this one was £38.99 delivered so 7.3 thanks for watching all the best